Eric Karski. We'll have that start of the match today in just a minute. Here's a new Providence who come in with a record of seven and two. This is a suburban conference match for the championship of the suburban conference. We now announce the wrestler at 101 for Milburn, Matt Silver, Silver, and for New Providence, Dave Burney. against Matt Silverberg of Milburn. Both wrestlers coming on very strong in the beginning. With me at the microphone is Joe Picton, one of our uh, ace cameramen at Communities on Cable and also wrestling coach for some of the younger players. Dave Moniz with a takedown, two point. Right, that's Dave Moniz on the top, he's got two points. Matt Silverberg in the blue, Milburn's uniform. New Providence looking for a pin at this week. Very important match. As both wrestlers have come in with a very good record so far this year. Okay, when they resume, Dave Moniz will be on top. Matt Silverberg will be in the defensive position. Got a minute left in the first of three periods, for three two-minute periods. Each wrestler will have six minutes to uh, attempt to pin or reach a decision either way. Score so far is 2 nothing in favor of Dave Moniz of New Providence in the 101 weight class of the first match of the uh, of the day between Milburn and New Providence. with a considerable amount of riding time in this period. Whoever has the most riding time at the end of the match gets one point. We're down to five seconds of the first period. Looks like there won't be any more points here.
Dave Moniz looking for a pin here. And Matt Silverberg attempting to get out from bottom and score some points either for neutral or for a reversal. But again, he's taken down with Dave riding very hard on top. Hard cross face. Well, Silverberg almost did have a chance to escape, but uh, Moniz picked up on him quickly. Oh, and Pancake is back. But he rolled through. He's bending oh. the arm back in an attempt to uh, turn him over. Two more points for Two Dave more points. Moniz. Another Pancake. Another attempt. Another tilt. The count, start. count is starting. Silverberg trying very hard to get out of this. Moniz has a lot of time. Silverberg trying very hard to get out, which he did. Out of bounds. Three, three points for Moniz. Okay, you could see uh, Silverberg trying as best he could to get out, out of bounds so to start over in the center of the mat. We have 57 seconds in the second period. Moniz well ahead of Silverberg. Moniz in the yellow and green, Silverberg in the blue. Dave with another pancake, putting Matt to his Matt Silverberg to his back. The referee calls a dangerous hold. The action is stopped. Looks like Moniz wasn't too pleased with that call. But the referee is justified because it was a dangerous position and one of the participants could have gotten hurt. Dave knows he has to pin here because some of the other matches are not going to go quite this way for New Providence. So he's looking very hard to score a lot of points. Right, the first team to get on the board has always had such beginning advantage. Moniz well, has been on top. Okay. Oh, we had a chance. We, the referee started the count, but uh, ran out of time in the second period. As you heard, five to nothing in favor of Moniz over Matt Silverberg and Milburn. As you well know, a uh, decision up to eight points counts for three points. Anywhere from eight to 12 is four. From 12 and above is a five point decision and a pin is six. So Dave is looking to get as many points as he can. But he really wants that pin. Okay, and we just saw two points for Moniz. On a reversal. On a reversal, right. For those of you who may not understand the point system in wrestling, the individual matches are judged on the points that you see given by the referee. Now, the individual matches are scored on a basis of those points, and whoever wins gets the three points that Joe was talking about. Okay, the referee started a count. Silverberg trying desperately to get out of the hole. Got just over a minute left to go in the third period. Three more points for Moniz. He now leads 10 to nothing. 12 to nothing, excuse me. It was given to Matt Silverberg for his escape there. Thirty-four seconds to go, final period of this first match, the 101 pound weight class. Two more points for Moniz. Score is now 14 to 1. So if I'm correct, Joe, this should be uh, four points for New Providence. Five points for New Providence, okay. One more point for Moniz. That's 15 to 1. For a pin, the uh, winning team would get six points. For a decision, 
as I said, it could be three, four, or five. Two more points from Moniz. That would make the final total, I believe, 17 to 1. Okay, 19 to 1. That was uh, 20 to 1 in favor of Dave Moniz of New Providence. To one point, Dave is looking very much for a pin there. That one point could prove very critical in this match because these are two very evenly matched teams. Okay, here at the 108 pound weight class, we have Adam Weiss for, in the blue for Milburn against Bob Dumas for New Providence. Both wrestlers coming out very enthusiastically. Both wrestlers out of bounds, starting again from a neutral position. Establishing any kind of control yet. We have a minute and eight seconds left in the first period. Okay. Bob Dumas against Adam Weiss. Two points for New Providence. Bob Dumas for a takedown. Referees are starting back at a neutral position, going out of bounds with uh, not neutral position, but with uh, Dumas on top because he scored the two points initially. Okay, Joe. Bob Dumas showing it, he's in control. But Adam Weiss is just showing a strong defensive effort as well. Weiss almost managed a neutral, but not quite. He went out of bounds. Score remains 2-0 to cross. 2-0 uh, Dumas. And that's Dumas on the top position. And that's the end of the first period. With Bob Dumas leading Adam Weiss two to nothing. Now, as we heard before the match started, um, this match will decide the suburban conference because it will be the last match for both sides. So a very important meet, and each individual match is very important. Okay, one point for Dumas, who escaped from the bottom position. He now leads 3-0. And could have another couple of points here if he can twist around here. That's right, two more points, 5-0. Dumas bending the arm back behind the referee, letting him, making him let go. That, that seemed like a uh, kind of an interesting move when uh, Dumas pushed him off because it looked like Weiss was going to escape. Dumas has considerable uh, riding time built up in this match, which will show at the end of the match. One point for New Providence. Okay. Unless uh, Weiss does something to uh, 
gain some riding time. There is still enough time. We're only about halfway through this match with a minute left in the second period. Bob Dumas of New Providence leading Adam Weiss five to nothing. With New Providence, by virtue of uh, Dave Moniz's win, leading five to nothing over Milburn. So it's not only the individual team, the individual score, it's, it's the team score that will decide the entire match. 51 seconds left in the second period. It is now six to nothing. Coming to you from the New Providence High School Gymnasium. Match between New Providence and Milburn High School. This is the 108 pound weight class. Have a lot of people here for this wrestling match because this is an important one. Okay, we brought back to the center again for out of bounds. You're right about there being a lot of people here, Dave, considering it's four o'clock in the afternoon. Most of the matches prior to the energy uh, shortage were held in the evening when you could pack the gymnasium. But uh, at this time, there really are a lot of people here. That's true, and I'm sure it spurs on the wrestlers just as much to have the, their fans from both schools, because Milburn's certainly not too far away. Both wrestlers looking a little bit tired. Aaron Weiss looks like he's in a little bit of pain, but. We're still strong nonetheless. <laughs> Dave Karate with Joe Pickton at the New Providence High School gym. Bob Dumas is trying very hard to get more than that three points because once they get up into some of the heavier weights, Milburn has a uh, decided advantage due to the inexperience of some of the new Providence wrestlers, especially at heavyweight. A minute 20 seconds left in the third period and in the match. Bob Dumas in the yellow and green for New Providence, Adam Weiss. In the blue for Milburn. A minute left. Duma showing a lot of riding time advantage. Should give him an extra point. Stalling on, a, on the Milburn wrestlers. The warning by the referees is not doing anything on the bottom. Not trying to get out. And that's a warning. Another warning, and he'll, he'll one point will be given to the new Providence wrestler. Okay, that makes it seven nothing in favor of Dumas. Not yet. Once he's warned the wrestler, and the next time he gives a warning, he'll give a point. I believe that it is uh, now seven to nothing though. Dumas showing a lot of strength, I mean, even though he's been wrestling for five and a half minutes so far. 30 seconds left, or 35 seconds left. Out of bounds again, and we brought back to the center with 24 seconds left. As both coaches said before the match started, this could be a very interesting match, especially later later on. When, as Joe said, we have the, the heavyweights where Milburn may have the uh, slight advantage. 15 seconds left. Dumas leading seven to nothing. Four seconds. 
and that'll just about do it. Dumas should be awarded riding time, and he should win a, should make the score, he should get a four point decision here, uh, which would make the score. The score of this match, the winner, by a score of eight nothing, Bob Dumas. Which will make the score, the team. Providence 9, Milburn nothing. Okay, so two matches, uh, two matches, and New Providence wins both of them by five and four points respectively. Okay, at the 115 weight pass, we have Brian Corp for New Providence and Ted Schlein for Milburn. Well, it seems like New Providence had the decided advantage in this early going. A pin here could change it right around to be a 9-6 quite easily. Dumas uh, Corp has already given up the takedown, so he's really going to—he's really got his hands full. Okay, and he's already behind two to nothing in this match. Ted Schlein looking very strong for Milburn. Trying to flip him over. And they'll start at, no, I'm sorry, they will start with Schlein on top and Korf on the bottom. Again, Korf almost getting a chance to escape, but uh, Schlein threw him out of bounds before he could get anywhere. Minute six left in the first period. Milburn looking for a pin here to bring them back into this match and Cork looking desperately just to stay off his back as much as he can. Trying time to flip him over and he's got him flipped over. His shoulders are not touching the mat yet. Cork trying to get out of bounds. Trying, trying to bring him back in. Okay, and he gets back on his knees at least and drags him out of bounds. Head slime, very strong in the first period. Slime driving forward to Try and keep Korf off of his knees. What he's trying to do is keep his weight on Korf so he can flatten him out and then look to for some sort of pinning combination. He's got a two on a one on one. If you look underneath at Korf's uh, wrist, you'll see that uh, Schlein has his, has his wrist secured, uh, which makes it very difficult for Korf to do anything. That's true. Just six, ex six seconds left in the first period. Two nothing in favor of Ted Schlein. But he's building up a fair amount of riding time which will give him an extra point at the end of the match if he holds on. The score at the end of the first period, the Milburn wrestler leads two nothing. Okay, and the second period will start with Brian Corp on the offensive position on the top. Brian trying to escape. He seems to be this a little bit stronger than Corp. But it's not always strength that counts. Oh, and a fine reversal by, uh, by Slide. That'll give him two more points. He now has an arm bar where he's turning, he's turned oh. the pin that Milburn needed. 
That'll bring them close to the match. That's six big points for Milburn, bringing him back from a nine to nothing to nine to six. It's a very quick call by the referee on that pin. Now we have 122 pounds. Milburn, Kevin Ellis, and for New Providence, Mike Kausikov. Like I was saying, Joe, that was a very quick call by the referee. It seemed that way, but it only takes uh, two seconds. And uh, I guess it worked to the advantage of Milburn this time. It could very well go the other way the next time. Kevin Ellis in the blue for Milburn. And Mike Palshikoff in the yellow and green from New Providence. New Providence leading the match by a score of nine to six with three of the matches gone by. And nine more to come, including this one. He brought back to the middle. Still no score. He got 54 seconds in the first period. The one two boys seem very evenly matched, and it could very well be that the takedown will decide this match. It's true. Some matches could be very low scoring with just a simple takedown being the margin of victory. So nobody's showing any control of the two. sure what that call was. Do you know, Joe? No, I, I just know he put him back to a neutral position. I'm not really sure. Get down to five seconds. Looks like we'll have the first period without any points. what it will be. So nothing, nothing in the first period. The New Providence wrestler is going to, have, going to have to get out from the bottom to score a reversal uh, to keep himself in the match because you know that the Milburn wrestler is going to be doing that in the third period. That's correct. On the other hand, the Milburn wrestler has got to try and keep him down from scoring any points or to try and build up his own points. Both teams having a number of returning wrestlers from last year. If I remember correctly, I believe Adam Weiss and Martino, Al Martino, Ken Miller, some of the Milburn wrestlers that have come back from last year, as they said before, Al Martino, returning district champ, and Ken Miller, the other co-captain along with Martino. Keeping your providence on a reversal by uh, Palshikov. Could be a very important two points. One neutral for Milburn. Okay, and they're back at the way they started in the first period. It's 2-1 for uh, New Providence. Okay. 
a very close bout. And it could become very important as we get into the later matches. Fifty three seconds in the second period. Mike Pauchikoff of New Providence leading Kevin Ellis of Milburn in the one twenty two weight pound. Pound weight class. I score two to one. New Providence leading Milburn nine to six. Milburn wrestler is holding a three quarter Nelson on Pauchikoff trying to turn him. Uh, but Pauchikoff managed to put in a whizzer which allowed him to uh, negate that hold. It's good observation, Joe. Yeah, the, that'll keep him bringing back, that'll bring him back to the center in a neutral position. Ellis reaching for the legs. Kalshikov, very quick to get out of his grasp. Kalshikov trying to Grab a hold. It looks like uh, Milburn was awarded a point. The score is 2-2. Two -two. Second period, the score is 2-2. Two -two. Okay, now Kalshikov has got to hold him down. That, that uh, one point could be very crucial. Also, if he holds them long enough, the riding time will build up, which will enable him to win the match. It looks like Ellis has a stand-up. Kalshikov trying to throw him down. Ellis, Ellis has scored one point, makes the score a 3-2. And more importantly, they're back at a neutral position, which means that with a one-point advantage, Milburn could, could win it by that. Providence needs this takedown in order to get back ahead. Like another point it was awarded to the Milburn wrestler Kevin Ellis for uh, it looked like stalling or backing away on the new Providence wrestler. Okay. Score stands at four to two in favor of Milburn Kevin Ellis over Mike Pausikov of New Providence. We have a minute, eleven seconds in the third period. Milburn because of Palshikov uh, backing away. Okay. Coach uh, Phil Esposito of New Province not too happy with that. That's going to put uh, Milburn ahead six to two. Apparently two points were awarded to Milburn. Kalshikov trying to escape from a neck hold. Twenty-four seconds left in the final period. Kevin Ellis of Milburn leading Mike Kalshikov in New Province, 6-2. This looks like it'll be three more points for Milburn, right, Joe? Uh, I couldn't see. I wasn't. I wasn't really watching. But I mean, three points for the team. Yeah. Unless Kalshikov pulls it out with a pin, but it doesn't look that way. Another point for Milburn. Okay, seven seconds left. 
A default because uh, Pausha called back the way, uh, which gives Milburn six points. A critical match uh, could really hurt in the Providence. Put Milburn ahead, 12 9. Instead of a three point loss, he backed up too many times and uh, it really hurt in Providence at that weight. It would have been 9 9, but now it's 12 9. It's too bad there were only seven seconds left in the match. If he had held out for those seven seconds, there would have been a three point difference. And they would have been tied instead of behind by three points. Okay, 129 pounds. We have Ethan Zimmer for New Providence and Al Martino for Milburn, two of the finest wrestlers in, in all of the county and, and certainly all in, probably in northern New Jersey. This is probably going to be the feature bout of the afternoon. Al Martino, a returning district champion for Milburn. Ethan Zimmer, who... Uh, had a good lead last year. Uh, returned this year after a lot of uh, summer wrestling and a lot of conditioning to uh, have an unblemished record. But it looks like Martino has an advantage here. Trying to step over and gain the two points. But no avail. Zimmer was able to hold on and drag him out of bounds. So they will face off as... as before. Minute left in the first period. Ethan Zimmer for New Providence, Al Martino for Milburn. Milburn leading New Providence by a score of 12 to 9. Oh, nice move by Zimmer, but out of bounds. Milburn coming into the meet at 9-2-1. and one. New Providence coming in at 7-2. Both teams with very even conference records. So this match will decide the Suburban Conference Championship in high school wrestling. Down to 20 seconds left in the first period. The 129 pound weight class. Oh, and a quick turnaround and take down by Al Martino. Looked like uh, Zimmer was surprised on that. It was a very quick move. And uh, it's a shame because if Ethan could have hung in there uh, a couple more seconds, it would have been. Uh, Nothing, nothing going into this period. Okay, and it is two to nothing in favor of Al Martino of Milburn. Martino will start on the bottom. Left-handed Zimmer on top. Martino may pick up a point here for an escape if he can hold on. And maybe even two for a takedown. Nothing's been awarded yet. takes two. So it is now four to nothing in favor of Al Martino of Milburn. Lou Del Monte uh, has just joined us. He's a referee in the uh, for the uh, New Jersey uh, Wrestling uh, Referees uh, Refereeing Association and uh, he can probably help, help us a little more with the commentary. I'm sure that'll be a big help. Thank you. We have a minute left in the second period. Milburn's Al Martino leading. Ethan Zimmer, New Providence, four to nothing. Oh, 
Zimmer trying to escape, but Martino's holding on strong. Tell us what that call was before. Yeah, the referee warned the top man for stalling. Uh, seemed like he waited quite a long time to call it. The guy was just hanging on with a crab right. He wasn't trying to work for a pin at all. Okay. Maybe it helped him out there, though, because he called it on him, and then he threw a cradle on the guy and put him on his back. I guess it helped him out. Okay, well, that's the end of the second period. As we saw before, Al Martino picked up three more points to lead Ethan Zimmer of New Providence 7 to nothing. Zimmer would be on the bottom this time. Maybe he can pick up a point or two by on an escape. We'll see. He's got to put this guy on his back. And more, yeah. He's got to go all out this period. Okay. Al Martino, a very strong wrestler. See the other guy in Milburn. He's back. He's stalling again. He's not trying for the pin. He's doing the exact same thing as before. He's just hanging on. Just riding him out. He's not even attempting a pinning combination. What was that call? Call a stalemate. Neither uh, neither wrestler was improving his position. There's a lot of very complex calls in wrestling. Oh, yeah. Down to a minute 20 in the final period. The 129 pound weight class. And Al Martino in the blue of Milburn. And Ethan Zimmer of New Province. The man from Milburn is continuing to do the same thing with just that ride. Seems to be stalling to me. He hasn't attempted a pinning combination. Ref's letting him get away with a lot here. I know some of the New Providence fans feel that he's stalling. Oh, yeah. Being official isn't even a lot of fun. No matter what type of call you make, nobody's going to really like it. You're always going to have somebody that doesn't like it. Like, okay, it seemed like he point. waited quite a long time to call that. Yeah, he did, but one point was awarded to the Providence wrestler Ethan Zimmer. Now seven to one. Down to 20 seconds in that's the final one, period. That's one of the reasons why the uh, New Jersey, the state of New Jersey, is the only state left in the United States that has riding time in high school. <laughs> Referee just called stolen on the bottom. And this is how it will end. Okay, so that'll be... There's too many moves in that match. <laughs> yeah, well, after the first couple periods when uh, Martino built up the points, it seemed like he just held on for the win. You got it. <laughs> okay, that, so that's three more points for, New, for Melbourne. Score now 15 to 9 in favor of Milburn. Now at the 135 weight class, we have Pete Gonslick of New Providence in the gold and green. And Jim Dopp for New Pro for excuse me, for Milburn in the blue. And Dobb making the first move, grabbing the leg. Could have a takedown here. But Gonzalez forces him out of bounds. Just as you were saying before, officiating in, in it, certainly in wrestling and, and in any sport is not an easy job. Wrestling is more so because uh, it's the only high school sport and where the official determines what's going to happen in the outcome of the match. He's, he's the only uh, official in any sport that gives points 
but also he can take points away. There's a lot left to the discretion of the referee. Oh, yeah. It's totally his judgment. Just about everything that goes on out there, unless there's a legal hold. Dave Karate along with Joe Picton and Lou Del Monte coming to you from the New Providence High School gym. We're watching the New Providence Pioneers against the Milburn Millers in what could be in the final conference wrestling match of the 1981-82 season. And this match will decide the Suburban Conference title. Milburn currently leads 15 to 9 and we are at the 135 pound weight class almost halfway through the match through the entire match, that is. We we're 40 seconds away from the end of the first period in this one. Joe, it's been a while that I can think of since New Providence has won a Suburban Conference Championship. Yeah, it's been quite a while. I'm not really sure how long it's been, but it, they've gone through some very lean years, but the program seems to be uh, picking up in New Providence because they uh, really have gotten a fine uh, midget program with a lot of kids coming up. That's true, and you, of course, are a coach of the boys. And you see a lot of uh, players that eventually come up to the high school ranks. Yes, they will be. In a couple years, uh, I think you'll see some fine wrestling in New Providence. Okay. That's a new right there that the official just called. Uh, on the wrestler backing off of the mat in a neutral position. The wrestler is not allowed to step backwards at all on the wrestling mat. And I believe that was the reason that uh, we had the default earlier, right? Right. I missed that. Uh, that's what you told me the reason was. You're that's not allowed right. to back off the mat at all. That's right. As we saw before in the uh, match between uh, Mike, Mike Tauschikoff and Kevin Ellis, Has uh, a grapevine in and a single leg grapevine. He's doing a cross body ride trying to turn Gonzalez. Uh, it looks like a stalemate. That's what it is. Minute and a half left in the second period. We still have no score in this match, 135 pound match. Pete Gonsalik started this period on the bottom in a defensive position and is still in that position. He hasn't been able to escape, nor has Dopp been able to take advantage. Okay, we have our first point. A single point for uh, Pete Gonsalik for an escape. New Providence needs a win here. Providence coaches didn't look, didn't like that call because it looked like the referee, uh, the referee's uh, shoulders did not break the plane of the mat, so they should have continued wrestling, which would have put Gons like on top for a near fall. As our, uh, as Lou said before, a lot is left up to the discretion of the referee. And actually could they even uh, have, a, have an effect on how some of the matches go by the different types of people that referee. It certainly is a tough job. Pete Gonslick leading one to nothing. Providence is really looking for a score here. They've got to win here. That's right. They're down by six. If they go farther behind, that'll mean they'll have to make up a few more wins. Oh. 
We're just about to wrap up the second period. No more points yet. And it will wind up with Pete Gonsuk leading one to nothing. Okay, but now he will be on the top in the offensive position. 